up guys, John from Linkswell here with another two minute how-to that I can guarantee is probably gonna be longer than two minutes, but I will do my best to make it brief. Uh, so one of the big um, questions we had was how to change the launcher or can I change the background image or can I change how the UI looks or the icons? Um, and so we wanna talk about launchers uh, real quick here. Um, and so the launchers, for those of you who don't know, is essentially how the homepage looks, how the different apps layouts, so like your phone, where um, the icons look, the shape of the icons, the colors of the icons, all of that stuff is, is controlled by the launcher. And with Android, you can actually go into the Google Play Store and you can get a plethora of different uh, launchers with different uh, features and icons and looks and feels and gestures and all of that stuff. And so because our radios are Android tablets, they can do the same thing. Uh, so what we've done is we've created our own launcher, which looks like a factory radio. That was intentional. We wanted it to look like a factory radio, and we've probably got a 50-50 split. Half of, the, half of our customers love that factory UI look, and half want it to be way more cool with all of the uh, features like an Android phone would have. So that's what this video is about. We're going to talk about if you want to uh, do something more than our standard UI, this is how you're going to do it. Uh, we're going to do launchers. So two quick warnings. First one is the upper and lower uh, source bars cannot be changed. So our home button and the volume and telling you what source it is and then across the bottom the one that you can swipe that has the different sources. Those can't change because that's actually a program we've written that is actually running live on top of the launcher so that we can keep things like your climate control and your CAN bus interface and all that stuff working. So those cannot be changed. Those are what they are. Now if you don't like the way the new launcher you're using looks in between our two source bars, we have a feature now in Gen 4, Gen 4 Plus, and Gen 5. As long as you've done the latest update, uh, if you go into settings and then user, there will be an option for hide uh, source bars. And you can just go ahead and you can set it up however you want to. You can set it up to default, which means certain apps will hide them. Uh, you can set it so that just the um, top one is hidden, just the bottom one is hidden, or both are hidden, and then uh, it'll be like that when you go to the home page. So if you like the full page of your launcher to not have our overlays, you can actually hit hide both. And then if you ever need to access them, you can actually just swipe up from the bottom or down from the top and it will bring those back. So that's uh, warning number one. Warning number two is um, our radios are built on Android tablets, yes, but there's much more to them. And so not all launchers will work well on our radio. Uh, and that could be because the launcher isn't able to do as much as we need it to do in order to keep things like your climate control working or your car interface working, or it needs more control than we can allow it to have. And so if the launcher you install and it sets and it just keeps crashing, the chances are that there's a issue within compatibility because of the security features that either it is restricting or we're restricting it from. Uh, so if you find an app launcher that you like the UI, you like the way it looks, and there's an option to not pay for it first, I would do that. That way you can make sure it installs and it works before you pay the money to have the launcher. So those are my two warnings. Uh, that's how you, you cannot change those source bars, but you can hide them. And number two, uh, not all launchers will work the same, so you may wanna make sure that you do the demo before you pay for it. Cool, sweet, now let's jump into how you do it. So first thing you wanna do is make sure that you get your radio connected to uh, Wi-Fi. So you would go to settings, go to system, go to network, find your Wi-Fi whether that Wi-Fi source is your phone or your home or wherever you happen to be, Starbucks parking lot still in their Wi-Fi, uh, just get that logged in. And then once you've got your Wi-Fi set up, you should have the icon up in the top right there that shows that you have a Wi-Fi source. And then you're gonna go in, you're gonna launch your app list, and then from app list, you're going to go to the Play Store. Uh, and here's where you're gonna have just a plethora of launcher apps. So you can actually hit that search bar and you can type in launcher and you can see there will just be a list of uh, different style launchers, uh, ones that are free, ones that have like in-app purchases, some that are gonna cost you money right out of the gate, but they're all gonna kind of offer a different look to them, whether that's the icon look, whether that's the way the icons lay out, whether it's the, the gestures that are happening. Uh, so really 100% uh, uh, personal preference. Uh, pick one, open it up, Say, so, you know what, I really, uh, really dig the way that, I don't know, Arc Launcher looks. Uh, and we would go ahead and hit install, and then it's gonna go ahead and install the launcher. Now you can install multiple launchers, and I'll show you how you can switch in between them, uh, which one is gonna be your live home launcher in just a moment. Uh, so once you've uh, downloaded whichever launcher you want to do, you go ahead and go to app list, 
and then they're gonna all uh, list up there as apps that you've used. So each app is gonna be a little different um, on the way it sets up, but you're gonna have to go through the process. And so I'm not gonna sit here and go through uh, how you set it up. You're gonna launch that app and just follow the page. It's gonna say, how do you want your icons? Do you want a dock? Do you want this? How, what gesture do you want this to be? Those are all personal preferences and 100% on you. Uh, so when you pick your app, just follow through the setup pages. And then when you get to the end, it should be set up and good to go. Again, if it crashes right after setup and you try to reopen it and it crashes again, chances are it's not gonna work for you. You're gonna wanna find a different launcher. Uh, so we're gonna, a few launchers that we've already kind of played around with. Uh, so like Car Web Guru is a pretty popular one. So if we were to open up Car Web Guru, this is what Car Web Guru would look like from the homepage. So now once I have created the launcher the way I want it to, right? Cause I can change what icons do what, I can change the colors of the backgrounds depending on the, uh, the different launcher and all of those things. And once I've got it set up how I want it, the next time I hit home button, I wanna know that that's the app I'm gonna open. So you can see here, it will actually pull up a pop-up down at the bottom and it will list all the different launchers that I can select. And I can make it so that it's always that one or just one time it's that one. Um, and so you can set your launcher this way uh, so that it's always that one so that when I hit home, I set it as always. And now every time I hit home, it is going to open up Car Web Guru. Now again, like I said, you can do multiple um, UIs. You can do multiple launchers. So let's say, you know what? I live in uh, 2022 and I'm bored of this launcher. I want a new feel, a new look. So you got another launcher, you got it all set up. And now you, next time you hit home, you want it to open up that launcher instead of the previous one. So easiest way to do this, and you can do this even after, so let's say you've downloaded a bunch of them and you've set up five or six different uh, launchers. They're all set up, they'll save them, and you're just gonna kinda go through which ones you want whenever you want. Uh, so you would actually go to settings, then system, and then inside of system, you're gonna look for Android settings. Um, and here's where it's gonna be a little different depending on which generation you have. So this should work on a generation two as well, and a generation three. Your, uh, Android options may look a little different. So what you're gonna be looking for is you wanna look for apps and notifications and what you're after are your default apps. So once you hit default apps, you can see home app is one of those uh, options. So if we select home app, what it's gonna do is it's gonna bring up again that same thing like that popped up on the, uh, when we first set it up, it's going to pop up and say, these are all of your options for which launcher you want to be your home. Index, so you know, is our home launcher. So if you ever get to a place where, um, let's say uh, Nova Launcher, for whatever reason, is not displaying like the vehicle icon where you can control things in the vehicle and you need to get that back, you can go here, make index your home launcher, and then next time you hit home, it's gonna go back to our standard launcher. But that's how you would change which launcher you want to. Go to settings, system, Android settings, apps and permissions, and then go to default apps, select home, and then whichever app you set up, no matter what you do, no matter where you go, the next time you hit home, it's gonna open up that launcher. So that's how you change the launcher. I hope that's helpful. Uh, to be completely honest with you guys, there are so many different launchers out there with so many different uh, variations and options. It would be really cool if on this thread, people posted some screenshots or short videos showing the different launchers they had. Uh, Cause I know a lot of people would have, have questions about different ones that are out there and would love to see them running on our system. Uh, so let's do that. Put those down in the comments, share your UI, share your launcher. What do you have going on? Uh, let's see what cool things you have happening. Until next time guys, keep rocking. Thank you.